Good morning everyone, it's time again. I'm hitting Botany Bay, where else am I going to hit? And today's agenda is kingfish. The first thing I want to mention is where the hell did this come from? This was not here a few days ago. It is absolutely enormous. Either someone's placed it here for decoration or um, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. It's huge. It's been dragged. You see drag marks there. Where the hell has it come from? It hasn't fallen off any of the trees. Anyway, cracker day. I've got fresh pillies. I've got fresh tiny calamaris which is going to be cool. I'm going to probably use pili and squid on the one hook. Give them a little cocktail and hopefully I can get myself a legal kingy. Let's do it. Water update. It's clearing. It's still yellow, but it's certainly clearing. There is almost one meter of vis visibility. Pretty safe to say. There's the Hanes, gets me from A to B. I'll catch you out there, guys. I really should sort the GoPro out. This iPhone business is gonna end up ending in a disaster, I reckon. But here we go. It's fish. Tide. I should know this. Yeah, run in tide. A few hours fishing to go. Check the deep. Hanging off the edge there. A fair bit of activity in the deep. That's all bait. There's your little fish, could be trevally or kings. Might have to burly up because I'm not seeing the bait up here on this ledge like I'd like to see. But I reckon if I give it a good burls, and tell you to stop, there's an anchor. Early might be the go. Alright, let's get a fish. Alright, hopefully you can see me there because I can't see anything. The sun's in my face. I've got fresh pillies. They are immaculate. I like to cut them on a diagonal like that or like that and then give it a little twist and you'll get a little 
bit of guts on each side. That is the quality of fresh pili. I'll show you how I rig it in a moment. And I couldn't help myself when I saw these little tiny fresh squid. They look alright. See how that goes as well. Let's get a rod. Alright. I've chosen the Amp 2 Flatty Rod. This is my half pity rod. The ATC Virtuous 3000. 15 pound braid. Half pilly rig. Three O hook. You can use a four O. You can use a five O. You can use a one O if you want to target brim and other smaller species as well as kings. And my favourite is the head because it's my first drop. I'm gonna put a split like down there. So that's now split. A little bit of gunk hanging out makes it all nice and attractive. It makes a burly trail as it goes down. And I'm gonna go through here. That's like a bone. It's not gonna go anywhere. And it's gonna look, you know, fluttery as it goes down. No donut. A little bus stop happening right here. Dirty water, clean water line is creeping up towards me. That is so cool. they're practicing maybe this is not real this dude's having a spray having lots of sprays he's having fun or maybe he's getting his aim ready because the other dude's running out burning anymore it's all it's all over that's some powerful water man anyway that looks cool 
I'm going offshore. Smallest bloody rat. Skull hooked. <laughs> that is a big scorpion fish. Look at that. That's big. That's beasty. You'd get some great fillets off it. I'm going to let it go. I'm not going to let it touch me. I learnt that the hard way. What a fish. That's pretty, um, pretty rough floor. A lot of rocks. A lot of crevices. Never been here before. Curious to see if there's any bait in any kingies. All right, first drop here at the um, drum lines. Yeah, there's a snapper. Nice hook up on the half pilly rig. I think I'm onto a good snapper. Want a piece of squid? I'll get it up just to get a look at it and show you guys. Open it's a snapper. Yeah, it's a snapper. That's not a bad snapper at all. Check that out. Forties maybe. In the forties, I'll land it. catch in a spot I've never fished before. Check this out. That's where I'm fishing. I've never even stopped here before. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna make this quick because I want to catch more fish now. Rocky snapper on the half pilly rig of all things with a squid strip measuring forty four and a half forty four and a half yes random random Snapper on the half pilly rig. Let's get another one. That's the squid strip I was using. I'm going to reuse it because why not? I'm 
I'm going to go through twice, straighten it out like that, and then just turn it and go again. I'm on another fish on the same. Oh, did I drop it? Yeah, I dropped it. I got one of these slimy bass things. I'll let that go. I'll get a new piece of squid on. I might try a squid head through the eyes. That's a massive banjo, over a metre, easily. See that there? It's come straight up, very easily. Oh, that was hard work to get in. Go back. Hopefully, no more of them. Nice trevally. It's another snapper. That's the fourth for this session. If we include that little tiny thing in the runway. Nice hook up. That was on a half pilly. Give it a measure. And that's almost 32 centimetres. That's coming home. Cracker. Crack a little spot. Catch another one. It's another snapper. That one's going to be undersized. Really enjoying this though. 29 centimeters. to 40 centimetres, probably a bit under, on a half pilly again, you can see the rig is there, ha, ha. that was a good hook up, that, have a look at that, Unbelievable new ground. Unbelievable. Pays to explore, guys. Just keep.
exploring new terrain and dropping baits down, seeing what works, seeing what's there. I've now got a solid mark of snapper here that I never knew existed. Never been here before. This is epic. I love it. That is a beautiful leather jacket. Good size as well. Good hook up. Oh, don't you vomit. Nasty little teeth on him. But stunning fish. Salmon hauler. Okay, that's another nice legal snapper on a piece of squid. How good is this session, man? How good is this session? I'll give it a quick measure. 31 centimeters. That's just thrown up. There's little prawnies down there. Another brass. Let that one go. Get the wire. See the white caps out here. I'm going to go back inside and see if I can catch some fish inside body. seen a bonnie for a good mum. Oh. Beautiful hook up in the side there. And that's a nice bonnie. I'm gonna let it go. I don't need a bonnie. So I've come back into Yarra Bay, it's blowing way harder than it was forecast northerly, which is equally as bad as a southerly when you want to fish Yarra. I'll um, have lunch here, drop some baits down and see if there's anything going on. Famous shovel nose from Yarra. That's a 
pretty cool. Give it a quick measure. I'm going to guess 40. 39. 40. Close enough. Dinner. Beautiful. I'm going to let the flatty go. Just caught another. that very random spontaneous session inshore and offshore and um that's back to the man back out of the ramp my battery's gonna die so I'll make this quick is the snapper tonight very rewarding fish in a new area that I hadn't fished before happy days guys I'll bring them out I'm so happy with that session, eh? That's what keeps me fishing, keeps me going back for more, finding new area, beautiful snapper, in a place I've driven past hundreds of times. Get out there, guys. Have a go. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun. See ya.